Good morning, hot dogs. I hope you're having a marvelous Monday. Fundraisers, tag, tutoring, and more right after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you are in need of extra help or just need some study time to catch up on work, make sure that you sign up for tutoring and check the chatter for today's tutors. Reminder that art clubs begin today and the Spanish club will be meeting on Wednesday. If you are interested in any of these other clubs, including Best Buddies, Jazz Band, or the Hot Dog Fellowship, make sure to email your counselor or your community teacher. Just a quick refresher, dogs. The due date to order your yearbooks is September 2nd. You may order them online or in the bookstore for a price of $30. Now, we're going to pass it off to Sports and Weather. What's up, dogs? On Friday night, the football team fell short against a very talented Clinton Prairie team. The offense put up almost 400 yards and scored 30 points. But the defense struggled to stop the Gophers' rushing attack. Through the adversity the, at the Gophers' stadium, the Hot Dogs were able to put together a comeback that fell short in the fourth quarter. The JV also played incredibly well in a loss on Saturday morning. They made great defensive adjustments and moved the ball well. The Hot Dogs now focus on Tri-West this week. Varsity heads to Lisbon on Friday, and the JV is at home on Saturday. Shout out to the IC Sports Network for the game footage. Over the weekend, on Saturday, the Lady Hot Dogs soccer team played Tri-Central and Twin Lakes for their own hot dog invite. The Trojans got on the board first when a shot bounced off the ground and passed a diving Karina, Clarissa Casineda. While the goal went against the Hot Dogs, they quickly recovered and managed to get a goal of their own when Natalie Cruz took a pass from Abby Garza and put it in the net that ultimately bounced over the goalie to make the score 1-1. The second goal of the game came off and Emily Moore crossed and Natalie Cruz for her second goal. However, the Trojans managed to score another goal off late in the game to give them a late 3-2 lead. While the Lady Hot Dogs had a few attempts to equalize, they couldn't get the ball in the back of the net for a third time. In Game 2, the Lady Hot Dogs dominated Twin Lakes and didn't take long for them to board with Emily Mora scoring 20 seconds into the game. The scoring barrage didn't let up with the Lady Hot Dogs scoring 9 goals in the contest, ending it by mercy rule with 13 minutes left to play. Scoring their first varsity goals during the game were senior Celeste Rodriguez, sophomore Shari Flores, and freshman Diana Santos. The Hot Dogs defense of Clarissa, Jenny, Adamaris, Marianne, Sarai, Vanessa, and Esme did a great job earning their first shutout on the season. And, and turned away several Twin Lakes attacks. The one in one day kept the Lady Hot Dogs record at 500 on the season, now three and three. Next up for the Lady Hot Dogs is Thursday here at home against Northwestern. Also on Saturday morning, the Girls Cross Country team placed fifth out of 11 teams and were behind Lebanon and Western Boone, but in front of Danville. The top girls pair in this two-person relay was Vanette Vasquez Rivera and Reed Gill in 10th place. The boys team tied the third but lost the tiebreaker to finish fourth out of 11 teams. They beat Western Boone and Sagamore Conference defending champs Danville, but fell behind Lebanon by two spots. The boys team is now 4-1 in the Sagamore Conference opponents. The top pair was Perez slash Angeles in second place. Good job to them. Now to Cindy with the weather report. Good morning, dogs. Today we'll have a high of 88 degrees and a low of 66. There will be a possible chance of thunderstorms tonight and tomorrow morning, so make sure to keep that in mind because this is a possible risk to anyone who plans on going outside. That's it for weather, and now let's send back to Nelson for more sports information. Thanks, Cindy. The volleyball team went 2-1 at the Faith Christian's Eagle Volleyball Invite on Saturday. The girls started the day slow, losing to Found Central, but picked up to beat South Putnam and Bethesda. Macy Stair led the way with 37 kills and 38 digs on the day. Jalen Smith led the offense with 55 assists and 6 aces. Erica Stevenson added 8 kills and Mapillion added 13 digs. Ashley Zhang had 23 digs and played tough all day. Morgan Harrington had 10 digs. The Lady Dogs are back in action here at home this Wednesday against the Western Panthers. There will be a wrestling call-out meeting tomorrow morning during community. If you are interested in wrestling this year, please check in with your community teacher and head to the cafeteria first thing tomorrow morning. Also tomorrow, the boys soccer team is here at home against conference rivals Lebanon. Come out and support the dogs as they take on the Tigers. The game will begin at 5.30. One last thing, the fall sports schedules are in dogs. Make sure you stop by the office and pick one up. That's all for sports. Now to Maddie with a quick segment on the so boys soccer team.
Hey, hot dogs. With the boys' soccer team off to a strong start and a new head coach, I was able to meet up with some of the guys to get a glimpse of what's to come for the rest of their season. What I think about this year is that we have a lot of good chemistry since we grew up playing together since we were little. And we play as a team a lot, and we play aggressively but clean. And we like pass a lot, and we communicate a lot now. And I'm looking forward this year to win sectionals. Some goals for this season is to go undefeated and win sectionals. Some changes from last year to this year are we got our main defender back. We also are talking a lot more than we used to, and we take a lot more shots now. New head coach, we are working on passing technique and ball control. And what I think about Tyson this year is our new coach is that I'm thankful he's there because he motivates us a lot and he keeps our heads up and everything. And yeah. Our next home game will be Tuesday against the Lebanon Tigers. It starts at 5.30. Make sure you pull up and support the dogs. Make sure you come out Tuesday night to support the boys' soccer team as they play Lebanon. The game starts at 5.30. Thank you very much, Nelson. But attention juniors and seniors, the deadline to turn in your permission slip is approaching rapidly. You may turn in your, these slips into your English teacher or into the student services. If you're interested in taking the PSAT or NMSQT to either get practice for the spring SAT or qualify for the National Merit Scholarship, you need to sign up now. You must sign up using the link in the chatter no later than Wednesday, August 30th. Please contact your school counselor for questions or Mrs. Hale in the library. For lunch today, in lines one and two, there will be chicken alfredo and a breadstick. Line three will be pizza crunchers. Line four will be flatbread pizza. And a special happy birthday goes out to one of our hosts, Garrick Burge and Karen Martinez. And that will be all for today's morning announcements. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so that you're notified when we upload.